Good Monday evening. I'm Stephanie Rule with a lot of news to cover tonight. The special counsel's investigation into Donald J. Trump's handling of classified documents appears to be at a critical stage. And I know I've said that to you before, but this time, I really think it's different. This morning, three members of Trump's legal team went to the Justice Department to meet with the one and only Jack Smith and some other officials. Remember, just two weeks ago, Trump's lawyers sent an official letter to Attorney General Merrick Garland asking for a chance to make their case. The Attorney General was not at today's meeting. We don't know everything that was discussed, but The Washington Post reports this. People familiar with the matter say Trump's lawyers asked the Department of Justice not to charge the former president. Earlier, former federal prosecutor Andrew Weissman said this meeting is a sign of what's to come. There would be no reason to have the meeting if there weren't going to be potential charges. When you look at what the facts are, it would actually be a violation of the rule of law for Donald Trump not to be charged. Not long after his lawyers left the Department of Justice, Donald Trump himself posted this on his social media platform, quote, How can DOJ possibly charge me, who did nothing wrong, when no other presidents were charged? The Washington, D.C. grand jury in the classified documents case is expected to meet again later this week. And there are also new developments in the investigations into Trump and the 2020 election. The Washington Post also reporting both federal and state prosecutors are focusing on Trump-funded studies to try and prove voter fraud, which, of course, no fraud was ever found. 